What is up guys, welcome back to another SBC solution. Today we have team of the season so far, Philippe Coutinho and this card looked mad. So we've got a no loyalty solution coming in for you guys at just under 500k. It is an expensive card this because there are four parts. However, it is in for the rest of the game cycle so there is no limit of time on it. And the card looks very good. Let's get into it. So obviously the five star, four star straight off the bat is very nice. Obviously any card that has five star skill moves is definitely prices yank up for them on the market. They are in demand. High medium work rate on the card as well. Very, very decent. His in games are strong pace. A little bit of a weird split. Again, one of those, but very good. Anyway, shooting near perfect. Really, to be honest, for a cam, you could boost that up to just make him even more deadly, but he is pretty good. Passing is very strong as well. I love that. Dribbling, excellent. Apart from the composure, a little bit low on the composure. So maybe sticking a, I think it's a sniper or something on him to boost that composure, perhaps, if you're going to. But agility, balance, ball control, the dribbling stat itself, all very, very high, very good. Defending obviously isn't important. And the physicals. Strength isn't the best for him. Um, and stamina, he may not last the full 90. But there are there's so many subs. You guys, I'm sure, will have a super sub at Cam. So you don't necessarily have to play the full game with him. Because uh, he may not make the full 90. But there you go and a flare on him as well so a very very decent card there but yeah the five star skills being the key thing so like i said there are four parts to this an 85 two 86s and an 87 so we will start with the 87 this one's coming in around about 165 to 170k this one just an 87 rated with a 60 chem. So you see I have gone for a Premier League team basically with Onana in there. So I'll run through the player names. So we have Allison, um, Sigurdsson, Socrates, De Gea, Onana, Jean Martinio, Ndidi, Ozil, Wijnaldum, Aguero and Harry Kane. So they're nice straightforward, no, nothing to explain on that one. Second one, this is the 86 with a Bundesliga player. As you see, I have Pavlenka in there on the left back slot. Um, other than that, just an 86 rated with 65 chem, so that allows us to get Navas in there or any other 87 rated player uh, that you have. If you've got an untradable one, stick them in because they don't need chem. So I'll run through the player names again. So we have Ruffier, Navas, Laporte, Lloris, Pavlenka, Ndidi, Mares. Ozil, Jamatinho, Bergevin, and Aubameyang. You will see a theme Premier League players because they are by far the cheapest at the moment. On to the next team. Oh, look, Premier League again. No surprises there. Uh, you need one Brazilian for this. We've got that covered with Alisson and uh, Felipe Anderson. I don't expect either of them to go up in value too much. Uh, 86 rated, 70 chem. So again, I'll run through the player names. So we have De Gea. Zaha, Alisson, Jorginho, La Celso, Ndidi, Pepe, Felipe Anderson, Sigurdsson, Aguero, and Sebastian Haller. Premier League team, real straightforward. I'm sure you guys will have a lot of those guys. Anyway, final one. This is the 85 rated with one Bayern player. So for this, I have gone for a Serie A team, mainly just to mix it up, to be honest. Um, we have got... Uh, have it Martinez in there as our Bayern player, but any Bayern 84 would do. So Komen would do. Um, trying to think off the top of my head if there uh, who else is is there. Um, there are plenty, plenty of 84s from Bayern, but um, Javi Martinez is by far the cheapest. But yeah, like I said, any of them would do in that slot. So we have Sirigu, Lorenzo Martinez, De Vrij, Manolas, Jaco, Matuidi, Ramsey, Javi Martinez, Douglas Costa, Dabala, and Higuain. So guys, there you go. That is all of your solutions for this Philip Coutinho card. As you see, I avoided putting team of the season cards in there 
just because this is out for the full cycle. So once Team of the Season is done with, there is a likelihood that the value of those Team of the Season cards may go up as they are out of packs. However, base cards will be back in packs, so they will be flooding the market again i am sure as always so there you go guys that is your solution if you are picking this card up let me know obviously it's an expensive one but i'll be really interested to see how many of you guys are actually picking this up is it going into your buying team brazilian team as always let me know down in the comments below i will see you guys with another video tomorrow as always peace